National Nutrition Natural Health Reviews. Three minutes of the latest naturopathic info with Canada's leading nutrition experts. Watch, learn, and get healthy naturally. Hi, I'm Dr. Jonathan Beatty, a naturopathic doctor and a health expert here at nationalnutrition.ca. Today I want to tell you a little bit about a type of arthritis called rheumatoid arthritis. Now rheumatoid arthritis is a very specific form of arthritis characterized by the presence of a blood uh, inclusion called rheumatoid factor. Now if you have arthritis and you have an elevated level of rheumatoid factor, you do have rheumatoid arthritis by definition. And what this means is you have an autoimmune version of arthritis. So arthritis is characterized by stiffness, joint pain, sometimes there can be redness and even swelling of the joints. Uh, with rheumatoid arthritis, that's all happening, but it's actually because your own body is attacking your cartilage. Now there's a few reasons you can develop rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, in some cases, I've actually seen one study where they studied 300 people in Acapulco, Mexico who had rheumatoid arthritis. 54% of those people were actually found to be undiagnosed celiac, and of that celiac population, 87% of those people experience complete resolution of their disease upon discontinuing the intake of gluten. What that means is about half of the people in that study, you know, just under half, had complete resolution of their disease just from the removal of gluten in their diet. Now, gluten is not the only reason you can develop rheumatoid arthritis. That being said, it really doesn't hurt to try removing gluten from your diet to see if you can resolve the symptoms because it could actually just be almost a version of celiac disease causing your rheumatoid arthritis. Now, other causes that we've seen, there's actually a type of bacterial infection you can get from your mouth. And what happens in this bacterial infection is the bacteria start to bind an additional amino acid to what's called your type 11 collagen. Now, when this happens, uh, when you bind this uh, amino acid to that collagen, your body suddenly treats that collagen as a foreign body. It doesn't realize that, that it's your collagen that's there. It thinks it's something else. And so it starts to attack it and try to remove it. So this is why rheumatoid uh, arthritis typically affects the joints of the hands, uh, it can affect the hips, the knees, and the low back. It has a very specific areas where it typically manifests. Uh, sometimes as well, you can also get it included in the jaw or what's called the TMJ joint. So some people who, uh, with rheumatoid arthritis, their symptoms actually dis, uh, start with something called TMJ disorder or pain in the jaw. Now there is two types of uh, rheumatoid arthritis. There's an adult onset and a juvenile onset. That being said, the causes tend to be the same. We're not 100% sure why uh, for, it affects some people at a younger age and it waits in other people, uh, but it does seem to have a couple of very specific causes so uh, gluten sensitivity can be related to it. Uh, there are types of infection related to it. And again, there's a few other causes that we have yet to determine. So, you know, just because it's not the gluten, just because it's not the uh, bacteria, doesn't mean it's untreatable, okay? There's a couple different ways that you can help manage your rheumatoid arthritis. Obviously, the most important here, if it is, you know, say gluten related, removing that from the diet could cause you complete resolution of your condition. You know, no further treatment required. If that's the case, you know, lucky for you, um, but that's awesome. And then you can actually, you know, basically cure your condition, right? By being able to identify the trigger for it, removing that trigger, you can eliminate the disease altogether in the body. Um, if it's not due to that though, let's say it's due to this infection, getting the infection identified and treated is very important. Um, and then if you don't know why you're having it, there are ways you can help your body to help manage the symptoms, reducing the level of inflammation and improving your body's ability to repair the cartilage. Because even though your body is removing the cartilage, at the exact same time, it's trying to compensate and repair it. So if you can give your body all the building blocks it needs to help repair cartilage, that's gonna be really important. Um, one of the things I often recommend is to use collagen powders. The reason behind this is it contains all the amino acids your body needs to then be able to rebuild your cartilage. Uh, I also recommend glucosamine sulfate it's been shown in multiple studies to help be able to speed up the recovery of cartilage, and often it works better if you pair it with either MSM or methyl sulfonyl methane, or if you pair it with chondroitin sulfate. Typically looking to take anywhere between 1,500 and 2,500 milligrams of glucosamine with again an additional 
uh, one to two grams of MSM or chondroitin sulfate tends to be the most effective way to take it. You know, that's where you're gonna get the doses for optimal effect. Additionally, herbally, you can use something called curcumin or turmeric uh, to help manage the inflammation. It's very effective. There's also a herb called Devil's Claw, which is very effective at managing inflammation. Uh, its Latin name is Harpagophytum procumbens. Uh, very, very effective anti-inflammatory. In fact, some studies have shown it to be as effective as uh, certain anti-inflammatory anti drugs known as NSAIDs uh, without having some of the harmful side effects that those drugs can have. So this is why I often recommend people to take Devil's Claw and Turmeric you know, as a management uh, treatment just to help reduce the inflammation to allow their body the time to heal from the rheumatoid arthritis. So if you have rheumatoid arthritis, I hope you've learned a little something that you can do today to help manage your uh, condition naturally and help reduce pain, improve mobility, and you know, hopefully if you're one of the uh, segment of the population whose rheumatoid arthritis is either due to this infection or due to a gluten sensitivity, then maybe you have an opportunity of curing your condition. So check out more of our natural health videos, subscribe, and if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post them below. And always remember, knowledge is health.